Hello. Knowledge is different from wisdom. But what knowledge do you have of Solomon and his wisdom? 20 questions. Let's begin. Question 1. Who was Solomon's father? Was it Benaiah, David, Rehoboam, or Nathan? And that was David. Question 2. Where was Solomon anointed? Was it Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Gihon, or Shiloh? Solomon was anointed in Gihon. Question 3. Which priest anointed Solomon? Was that Zadok, Abiathar, Aaron or Nathan? That was Zadok. Question 4. For what gift did Solomon ask God? Was it riches? Honour, the life of his enemies, nor wisdom. How very wise to ask for wisdom. Question 5. What large public building did Solomon build? Was it a library, a university, a temple or a theatre? And Solomon built the temple. Question 6. How long did it take Solomon to build his own house? Was it 7 years, 10 years, 13 years, or 20 years? That was 13 years. Question 7. What did God say to Solomon when he appeared to him the second time? Was it, I will establish the throne of thy kingdom forever. I will give you long life and happiness. A son will be born unto you. Or, your name will be great throughout the earth. And God said, I will establish the throne of thy kingdom forever. Question 8. Who helped Solomon with his building projects? Was that Ben-Hadad, king of Assyria, Hiram, king of Tyre, Jeroboam, king of Israel, or Hazael, king of Syria? And that was Hiram, the king of Tyre. Question 9. What did the queen of Sheba give to Solomon? Was it a hundred changes of garments and a hundred talents of silver? A hundred and twenty talents of gold, spices and precious stones? Six hundred and sixty-six camels laden with every good thing? Or ten concubines, each with a camel and ten changes of garments? And she gave him talents of gold, spices and precious stones. Question 10. What weight of gold did Solomon acquire in one year? Was it 100 talents, 250 talents, 500 talents, or 666 talents? And that was 666 talents. Question 11. What animals were carved on Solomon's throne? Were they bears, eagles, leopards, or lions? And they were lions. Question 12. How many concubines did Solomon have? 300, 500, 700, or 1,000? And still enough to keep any king busy, that was 300 concubines. Question 13. From which country did Solomon import horses? Was it Syria, Tyre, Assyria, or Egypt? And 
and he got horses from Egypt. Question 14. How long did Solomon reign over Israel? Was it 20 years, 30 years, 40 years or 50 years? And that was 40 years. Question 15. Which prophet told Jeroboam he would rule over 10 tribes? Was that Elijah, Ahijah, Isaiah, or Malkiah? And that was Ahijah. Question 16. Which of these books of the Bible did Solomon write, allegedly? Was it Esther, Ecclesiastes, First Kings, or Lamentations? And that's Ecclesiastes. Question 17. What was the name of Solomon's son who succeeded him as king? Was that Rehoboam, David, Asa, or Basha? And that was Rehoboam. Question 18. Why did Solomon turn away from God when he was old? Was it because he relied too much on his material blessings? He was too busy to make time for God. His foreign wives turned his heart after other gods. Or the prophets of the Lord predicted destruction in the future. And he turned away because his foreign wives turned his heart to other gods. Question 19. In the Song of Solomon, how is the lady's hair described? Is it as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead? As a shining waterfall? As tender leaves in the morning sun? Or as rippling gold? And that is as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead. Not sure if that's a compliment or not. And question 20. Complete this proverb of Solomon. A word fitly spoken is like a righteous man proclaiming his faith. Apples of gold in pictures of silver. A beauteous day from the Lord. The blossom of the fig tree. And a fitly spoken word is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. And there we are. How did you do? Again, let me know and say hi in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.